What is up everybody, welcome back to Mount Molecraft and goodie giveaway number 5, the Ultra Explosions script. So this one is a ton of fun, you can create on the very most basic level a uh, little effect like this which looks awesome. Uh, I was stumbling across the internet and I wound up on videocopilot.com, uh, this really great tutorial maker and product maker, his name is Andrew Kramer. If you've never seen any of his videos, which I'm sure most of you have, uh, he's totally awesome. Uh, he had a tutorial on how to make an effect like this, so I checked it out, and while I was checking out, I was like, man, that'd be really cool to have a script with some controls on it to generate this effect very easily. So I went ahead and created the Ultra Explosion script. However, once again, all the credit for this effect and technique goes on over to Andrew Kramer at Video Copilot. A link to the tutorial is inside the script. So anyway, if you go on over to Mount mountmolegraph.com slash freebies down at the very bottom of this page there is the ultra explosion script which you can go ahead and click this link to download and you'll get a little zip file um, and once you open the zip file you should have a uh, JSX bin which you once again like any other script you install into your script UI folder in your After Effects so if you were, your After Effects is running uh, just close it and restart it once you install the Ultra Explosion script and go ahead and open it up uh, as you can see here I got my really uh, cruddy little example going um, and this is like the most basic thing you can create with this script. There is a ton of stuff you can do. So anyway, let's create a uh, new composition here and I'll show you how exactly this works. So I actually have already grabbed it from my window and just docked it right over here. So command N, new composition, does not matter what your background color is because the script will change it to black so it's nice and visible. So with a new uh, composition created. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll just show you a real quick overview of stuff. You can click this little information tab to see some information about it as well as a link to my website, uh, all the tutorials for the summits and then also the video co-pilot uh, shockwave thing. So his website is cool. We've got some cool tutorials for you guys to check out as well. Um, and yeah, he's cool dude. Uh, so we'll close this guy and let's go ahead and just create an ultra explosion. So you have two buttons here. You have your generate burst and then you have your special uh, little checkbox. Nothing happens if you check it right off the bat. But let's go ahead and click the generate burst and we'll see what happens. So I clicked it and I'm going to get just tons of stuff. Uh, and you're going to want to eventually uh, go and explore a little bit more. Uh, there's some other layers as well that get generated in here um, but those are just shied for right now so anyway once you have this generated you're gonna see we have this awesome looking circle so you can go ahead and do a RAM preview and you'll see that it actually will animate in a really cool kind of uh, smoky way let's check this out here so we have a little uh, little shaking uh, maybe I'll preview a little bit longer so no one gets seizures here but anyway it's gonna play and I will walk you through the cool um, little controls that we have in this script. So as you can see, it's going to shake around, and that was one click, and we're going to have a little uh, fancy thing to show your parents, show your friends, and make them super impressed. So let's go ahead and take a look at our controls. If you're going to click your controls layer, uh, that's where most of the most basic controls are housed. So you have your explosion time. Um, and I will also throw out there that this effect is a little bit heavy on the computer, so it might be a little bit laggy here or there, so uh, you can definitely turn down your playback to maybe half or uh, third resolution if you are experiencing some trouble. So your uh, explosion time is basically explosions start from the middle and come out, so uh, the lower this number is, uh, you will see that it gets smaller, and these are all keyframeable, so why don't we set a keyframe here? and uh, press U and we'll go ahead and just uh, make a little tiny animation for this one. So I will go ahead in time and since I'm going ahead in time why don't I just turn my explosion time up and uh, we'll see maybe to about here and now we'll be able to actually go from the middle or the start or wherever we want we can scrub on our timeline and see this cool explosion which I think looks pretty dang cool. So explosion width is, uh, we'll also set a keyframe here, explosion width is the actual uh, width of this explosion. So you can go ahead and crank this up if you want to get a, a little bit of a thicker uh, ring of the explosion or something and then uh, turn it down if you want as well and we'll just uh, throw that quick keyframe in there. Uh, explosion dispersion is actually how you're going to get this uh, little effect to appear and disappear. So the lower this number goes, if we just set a keyframe here, 
and then go back in time a little bit, the lower this number is, it's going to kind of evaporate or dissipate this explosion. So just turn it down until it disappears. And uh, there we go. We got a black screen. And then I will just do a play. And as you can see, it kind of smokes on and then just animates like an explosion. So the next little guy in here is the randomize. So if you ever have a lot of these effects, um, they all have to be nested in their own composition. But if you don't want them to have the same kind of uh, noise and stuff like that, just uh, play around with this randomize number and you'll get a ton of different shapes that you can go and do much more with. So then you have your explosion color, uh, pretty self-explanatory here. You can change the color of this effect um, to some to tons of different stuff. And uh, obviously if you pick one, uh, some of the colors, it's not going to look great. So you can... Uh, tighten the color a little bit by turning this number up to 100 and if that still doesn't work you can actually choke the color with this checkbox and then draw it back but really you should just try to find a color that uh, kind of works a little bit better um, sometimes the saturation is just a little bit too high so uh, why don't we go ahead and just jump into the next effect I'm gonna actually unshy all this stuff uh, now that we've done a basic overview I will delete these effects um, right here and then we are actually going to go ahead and click the special checkbox and as you can see on the tooltip generate a more complex burst so why don't we just click the generate burst and now we're going to get a totally different looking effect and this one is more like fiery so once again you have all the same controls here your explosion time we can set uh, and crank this number up and then also, you know, uh, just play around with it, have tons of fun. So that is just the basic overview of this. And this one also will animate. Let's go ahead and crawl through some of the stuff that this does in the background. So if you click this little button up here um, to unshy your layers, you'll see we have a bunch of stuff. And uh, this is pretty similar to the tutorial that Andrew Kramer posted. However, I did uh, change a couple little things here or there that I thought might be nice to have. So you can click all these layers and uh, just see kind of what this effect is. It starts as this and you can go and change um, the effects in here. Something that is really cool if you click this VC burst layer, you can go and switch your noise type to something like a uh, block. And then if you turn all your effects back on here, um, let me make this, uh, what did this have to be here? This was an alpha mat, I believe. Yeah, you can kind of get this nice digital look um, and you can keep playing around. Eventually you'll get something really cool, but there's so much you can do. All these settings are just effects that are not third party plugins inside After Effects. So you can play around with this a ton. And so once you have an effect that you're happy with, I'll just have these uh, two example layers. I have this one here. Um, just like we just talked about, just a basic, basic animation. And then I also made another one. If I click into uh, this composition, I just made another one with the complex or, or special um, burst. Same basic animation here. And then if you go ahead and you take those two compositions and throw them in a new composition, just like this, um, and change your mode to like a screen or something, you can wind up with these very complex bursts. So anyway, uh, just a quick little overview. I hope you guys have fun playing around with it. Um, and that is about it for today. I've got some cool tutorials coming up later this week. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks for checking out Mount MoGraph um, and having fun. If you liked this uh, script and want to see more scripts or content or something, uh, leave a like or subscribe or leave a comment. Anyway, you guys all rock. I will catch you later. Peace out.